on board is in the hands of the least experienced of the three-man crew, 32-year-old Cedric Bonin. And the captain is sitting where I'm sitting right now. Correct. Bill Voss of the Flight Safety Foundation joined us in an A330 flight simulator to recreate what happened. What did he do? He, he pulled the nose of the plane up? A fairly dramatic pitch up. Pulling up is precisely the wrong thing to do. It can essentially cause the plane to start falling out of the sky. Soon, the plane's stall warning goes off. They keep saying repeatedly, what's happening, what's happening, where's the captain? They call for the captain six times. Yeah. yeah. We don't know why it took Captain Dubois more than a minute to return to the cockpit, but two sources tell ABC News that he was traveling socially with an off-duty Air France flight attendant. Were the two together? If the pilot is distracted because he's traveling with somebody, potentially, isn't that part of the investigation? I don't think uh, it could be an explanation of an uh, accident. In the cockpit, Captain Dubois finds a scene of utter confusion. What's happening, he asks. I don't know what's happening, answers one of the co-pilots. Within seconds, the plane has entered such a deep stall, it's plummeting about 120 miles an hour, nose up. Bonas still thinks his instruments are wrong. He asks, am I going down now? Confusion has turned into chaos, with both co-pilots now trying to fly in the plane in opposite directions. A point of exasperation, where you actually have a bit of the discipline breaks down. And, and then finally, literally three seconds before impact, we hear Robert, pilot Robert, say, oh my God, we're going to crash, I can't believe it. You're not really contemplating the idea that this could end badly.